click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about uh, the structure of water as well as we also discussed about the physical properties of water and now based on that we are going to talk about uh, that what is the structure of ice and how basically the density of ice is less than the density of liquid water so this is what we are going to discuss in this topic so let us start with that <music> So friends, we know that ice is basically a solid form of the liquid water and that's the reason that uh, the ice is basically crystalline in nature. And talking about the various uh, structures of ice because ice is the one which is, uh, is having a, a solid states. That's the reason that it can have a different kind of uh, uh, forms also. And that is what I'm going to talk about. That is at atmospheric pressure, it has been found that the structure or the crystalline form of the water is basically it is found to be hexagonal form. While at uh, very low temperature, the structure of ice is basically is in cubic form. So these are the two things about uh, the crystal of ice uh, or basically we can say the uh, solid form of water that is known as ice. But now let us discuss about what is the structure of ice actually. So now let us uh, talk about the structure of ice and let's see that uh, how it is comparatively different with that of the liquid form of water. So it has been noted that according to the X-ray study it has been uh, observed that uh, the water molecule which consists of basically oxygen which has been uh, bonded with the uh, two hydrogen atoms as I mentioned over here. So as we know that this uh, oxygen atom is basically electronegative and that's the reason that uh, it has the capacity to form hydrogen bond with that of the other water molecules. So just for an example if I'm just giving its symbol as a, that is partially negative charge while this hydrogen is partially positive charge. And suppose if I am considering the other water molecules also uh, around it. So this oxygen atom is now being surrounded with uh, the other uh, water molecules and that's the reason that uh, it will have a capacity to form hydrogen bonding. But compared to that of the liquid uh, water and compared to that of uh, that is a uh, solid water that is ice the hydrogen bonding is comparatively different and how it occurs let me talk about that so since this oxygen is basically it is electronegative and uh, since in the form of solid or basically in the form of an ice this oxygen atom is surrounded by four hydrogen atoms yes so this are the two hydrogen atoms as you could see over here and suppose if i'm uh, discussing about the other water molecules also which is around uh, uh, this oxygen atom and uh, that's the reason that i could uh, draw the structure in this way where uh, i'm discussing about that uh, this is the oxygen atom of the other water molecule while uh, this is the hydrogen atom. Again, if you would say that this uh, oxygen is basically partially negative charge, this uh, hydrogen is partially positive charge in that way. And uh, again, there would be various other molecules also which are uh, around uh, that is uh, the water molecule like this one. So each oxygen atom in the uh, structure of ice or uh, if you are talking about the molecule of water is surrounded by four hydrogen atoms. So that's the reason that it is basically it is tetrahedrally it is packed with the uh, hydrogen atoms and that's the reason that uh, we know that the structure is basically sp3 hybridized. But uh, let me talk about this thing that is uh, the other water molecules. So here you could see that this oxygen atom is basically it has been surrounded by as you could see over here it is surrounded by four hydrogen atoms and that's the reason that the structure is basically a tetrahedral shape if you talk about the structure of ice and that's how the structure it is and uh, so this is what i have discussed only about the three molecules but uh, it is a, a three dimension structure where we could see that uh, the ice is in a crystalline form and uh, according to x-ray study also it has been uh, noted and it has been observed that uh, the distance between the oxygen and the hydrogen it is basically it is found to be 276 picometer so that is what the structure of ice is and that is how basically it is a crystalline form of water so that is what i want to discuss about uh, in this topic so that's it friends and uh, let me talk about the density also that is uh, because of this distance and because of this hydrogen bonding obviously there will be a kind of uh, base that would be created and that's how basically the volume it increases and 
during this kind of bonding or this kind of uh, 3d dimension or three dimensional bonding uh, where we could see that how it has been formed we could see that there is a cage like structure that has been formed uh, in the ice and that space or that kind of void has a capacity to intake uh, other impurities also basically interstitial space and that is how basically the structure of uh, or we could say the volume of uh, uh, ice is basically larger than that of the volume of uh, the liquid water and that is how basically if the volume increases obviously the density will always decrease and that is how basically ice floats on water so this is what i want to discuss about the structure of ice that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know the various concepts behind this uh, uh, that is hydrogen bonding and that is how basically the water shows a crystalline form and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe thank you so much